Get your SPF ready. Today's lesson is going to be a sunny one. Hi everyone, Miss Brooke here at the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum in Escondido, California, where we spark a love of learning so all children can discover their wildest dreams. This month, we're learning all about the weather, and today we're going to be talking about the sun. The sun provides us with many things, like light, warmth, and energy. Did you know it is also responsible for every aspect of weather? Snow, wind, rain, you name it, the sun is a part of it. Let's check in with our friends at SDCDM News to learn more. Hello, and welcome to the SDCDM Morning News. I'm your meteorologist, Miss Brooke. Today in Escondido, we're talking about that beloved star in the sky, the sun. As you may have heard, the sun is responsible for every weather pattern that we have. Now, you may already know that there are four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Each season has different weather patterns that are more common during its time of year. These weather patterns are determined by how Earth is tilted towards or away from the sun. Earth rotates around something called an axis, which is an imaginary line that we can't see. This axis is tilted, which means Earth rotates at an angle. As the Earth rotates around its axis, its position to the sun changes. This is why we have seasons. When Earth's axis tilts towards the sun, we have our warmer seasons like summer and spring. When tilted away, we have our colder months like winter and fall. This means we have less sunlight than we do in warmer months. Because of this, you may notice things like leaves changing colors and falling off of trees, weather patterns like rain or snow, and the sun going down earlier. On the other end, we have spring and summer when we are tilted towards the sun. This means we have more sunlight. During these seasons, you may notice trees and plants beginning to bloom again, weather patterns like thunderstorms and heat waves and the sun staying up in the sky for longer before it gets dark. All of these seasonal changes are due to Earth's tilt towards or away from the sun, creating the different weather we see during different seasons. So as you can see, the sun is very important in so many different ways. The sun provides us with so many things, like vitamin D, which helps our bones grow strong. It also helps plants grow, which provide food and oxygen for the Earth and the people on it. While the sun is so very important to our planet and our bodies for so many reasons, sometimes its rays can be strong against our skin. That's why we wear hats, sunglasses, and sunscreen when we are outside so we can enjoy the sun safely. Well, that's all for me. See you next time on SDCDM News. Wow, it's amazing all the things that the sun can do. Now, let's use our energy to make our own bright and glowing sun at home. For this craft, you will need white and blue cardstock paper, scissors, a pencil, a gallon sized plastic bag, yellow, orange, and red paint, glue, and a paintbrush. To begin, draw a circle on your white piece of paper. Then, cut out the circle using your scissors. Squeeze some of each color of paint onto your cutout circle. Place in the plastic bag and seal tight. Squish and swirl the paint around from the outside creating different colors and patterns on your sun. When finished, remove the sun from the plastic bag and place onto your blue piece of paper. Using a paintbrush, gently brush out some of the paint from the sun onto the blue paper. This will create the sun's rays. Once the paint is dry, you can use your glue stick to glue down your sun in the center of your brush strokes. Now your sun is up in the sky and complete. Amazing job, friends. You were all incredible meteorologists today and created beautiful suns. I had so much fun learning with you and hope you take some time today to explore all the things you can see outside that the sun makes possible. 
If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And for more museum fun, check us out on our social media and website. Well, until next time, I'm Miss Brooke. See ya.